it's Carrie with Picasso Cat Treasures back with another Michael's grab bag unboxing video. These are actually boxes that I'm unboxing, which makes sense. It's they're called grab bags, but of course uh, they're not necessarily bags every time. So let's just jump into it. I got five boxes. I'm assuming these are going to be mostly Halloween items uh, or fall items since they're now the store is all Christmas. And that's okay. I don't mind that. What I do with my Michael's craft boxes, I love opening them. I have $5 worth of fun every box just opening them. <laughs> and then I keep stuff, I sell it, and I also donate. Um, I think if you watched a video uh, a few videos ago, I had a lot of like 4th of July flower. I don't even know that they were 4th of July, but maybe Memorial Day flowers um, arrangements. And I decided that we have a vet's home right up uh, the road in Yonville here. And I called them and they were happy to take the donation. And so it was a huge amount of these like floral arrangements in red, white, and blue, and they decided to use them on the tables in the dining room. So they were really happy to get them. Uh, I also donated a lot of stuff to a teacher. Um, so anyway, well, let's see. So of course it's going to be a lot of Halloween stuff. What I'll probably do is if it's really good stuff, I'll just put it in a box and put it away and sell it next year. If we have Halloween next year. So first things out, we have a child... It's a cape bat girl, and we have three bat girls, maybe more, but three right on the top. And I have a two-piece set. Oh, it's a it's a deer it's a deer costume, which is I only see one. Wait a minute, I only see one deer. Oh, that's a tail. Okay, so it's a deer costume, but it doesn't have the the head. The little deer, you know, ears. But that's so cute. It was would have been $14.99. And of course, these would have all gone on big sale right after Halloween. Um, who doesn't love a good graphic tee? I am a graphic tee maniac. So, <laughs> so uh, this is cute. Uh, what is it? Bad Witch? That, I may just keep that because yes, yes, yes. Okay. Now let's see what we have. Oh, Devilish. These are so cute. That is, those are really cute actually. I mean, I have to, you could definitely wear these at times other than a uh, Halloween because, you know, we all have a little devilish in us. We have another, oh, two more of the deer, I just love these. Two more of the little deer costumes and they're for ages three to eight and they would have been $14.99. So that, I just think those are, that little, t look at that little tail, look at that. All right, next I have, and I have how many of these? Kid, these are kid gloves. I wonder if these are um, glow in the dark. I don't think so, but they're gloves just to put, they're not actually gloves. They're like wrist pieces and they're, they look like little skeletons. How cute. So that's $4.99 a piece. Another, oh my goodness, another deer. Oh God, we have deer all around Napa. We have deer on my street at night. We'll walk out the door. <laughs> the deer, cause I live right on a, like on a creek. We'll walk out the door and the deer will see us and go, you know, like if we stop moving, these human things won't see us. <laughs> They're so funny. They're very cute. I, I, I leave food out for them. Don't judge me, I do it. This is cute. This is a little um, angel, what do you call it? Angel halo headband. So that's a little halo and little angel wings. I, I'm not going to put it on my head, but you would be an angel in it. And it had a price tag of $12.99. Another t-shirt and this says 99% angel, 1% witch. For me, I'm honestly, I'm being honest, I'm not putting myself down. I'm just being a realist. I'm a pragmatist. I am the reverse of that. Boom. Okay. Uh, this is $19.99 and it's just an Ashland container. What I like about this is uh, it could go through several seasons. The only season, I guess, if you did real careful seasonal um, uh, decorating, you wouldn't do this at Christmas, but you could. But you know, even if that you didn't like that pattern, 
you just get that can of gold paint that you have sitting in everybody's cupboard in the garage <laughs> and paint spray paint that and then put some floral arrangements in it or maybe little um uh, what do you starter sticks for fireplace um wood and stuff that would be really cute okay here's another nine this is 9.99 little uh unicorn i don't know unicorn i guess i like these little headband things Ooh. Okay, so $9.99, um, little ma uh, mask, that's cute. You go, to, you go to Venice and they have, these are everywhere. I guess it's part of one of their festivals. Dog bark, I don't even stop for that anymore. <laughs> okay, this is a lighted accessory. This is, uh, I don't, it's an adapter with three outlet. I, oh, okay. I think it's for little, I think you would use it for like Santa villages or little villages, I think. So you could plug several things in at once, right? They had $29.99 on that. I've never even thought they had those things at my house, but I guess you'd have to because they do a lot of lighted village stuff. Oh, ooh, ooh. I can go out as Mothman for the next Halloween. These are just wings. They're just black wings for $20. And so I could do Mothman. I love that kind of, that kind of stuff. All right, here it says apple pies, autumn skies, crisp leaves falling, bonfires calling, pumpkin spice and mugs, warm sweater hugs, which reminds me, I feel like I need to put a sweater on. It's, I may, I may do that because I'm so, just a minute, I'm cold. Better. I feel um, I feel warmer. So that's cute. That's a really cute plaque. Cute, cute, cute. But it's a canvas, so if you wanted to use it for something else, you could. And here's some. Okay, this is just raffia in purple, which I guess purple and orange and black seem to be like the Halloween colors now. I never thought of Halloween as having anything other than orange and black, but purple now appears to be part of it. And then oh. Uh, oh, what were they per? They would have been $7.99. So it's just raffia to decorate with. Um, okay, this is a squishy pumpkin for $4.99, a puffer toy, they call it. So that's cute. I'm, that's probably going to be a donate. I don't think I could, I don't know, maybe if I do a big lot of Halloween stuff next year. I could do that. Ooh, bulb replacement set. These are bulb replacement sets for uh, those trees. You know those ceramic trees that put people put little bulbs in for Christmas? Well, I guess by the looks of this, people actually do that. They take that tree and they put pumpkins in it for Halloween. That's I like that. That's using something we already have and making it hot. Halloweenish. I wonder if they make like um, val oh, Valentine Thanksgiving ones with little turkeys that you can put. That these are just bulbs that are purple and orange. That's cute. You could make your your ceramic Christmas tree that you use at Christmas as a, a Halloween tree, and then it uh, has multiple uses. That's great. So I will get the next one out, and I will be right back. Okay, now on to the next one. Bring the scissors forward. I'm trying to remember to hold these things up to the camera longer than I've been doing. Oh, well, this will might be an easy one. Okay, so I spoke too soon. All right, these are cute. This is, I don't know if you have trunk or treat wherever you are, but like for COVID, a lot of churches did trunk or treat type of things where you just... Uh, drive around. So this is trunk decorating, a trunk decorating kit. So you'd use it to, you open the back of your car, of course, and then you have everything to make your, to decorate your trunk. Isn't that cute? There's a different, that's a different kind one. That's a haunted house one. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Um, here's another different one. This one is a graveyard decoration kit. I wish I knew how much they, it's probably right here, you know, on here somewhere. And I'm just like, doo -doo -doo -doo. anyway, that's three. Let's see how many there are. Oh, should I do? Um, here's another one. No, oh, this is a, 
Do, do, do. Trunk. Yeah, it's the same thing. And this is another one of the haunted house ones. So we have four. And the, this is a graveyard one, five. And we've got six. We've seen these. Okay, this one we haven't seen. Seven, it's a big cat. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep that. I got to keep that one. You know what you could do? I'm going to tell you, if you like decorating for Halloween and you're just not doing a trunk, you could totally take all these separate pieces and put them around your house over a door uh, or, you know, things like that. Oh my gosh, that would be very funny and cute if you just want to do that. So where was I? I have six, seven... And eight, and this is another graveyard one. So you can put those, you can put them almost anywhere. They show you you can. So if you don't want to put them on the trunk, oh boy. So we have, well, I don't know, seven, I think, eight of those. And then the last two things in this box are some more of those terrific t-shirts. Bad Witch. Maybe I'll save these t-shirts for when I go, if I ever get to go to Salem. I would love to go to Salem. Oh, oh, it says Spellbound. I love that, but that's definitely a kid's shirt. And maybe one more kid's shirt. Yes, another Spellbound. So I'm gonna put this box away and get another one out. How about this one? This one could be, this one could be fun. Ugh, I may not be able to. Uh, no idea, I, she must have, whoever did this used this long box for a reason. These might be stand-up things or who knows? Who knows? That's the fun of the grab bags boxes. And again, these were $5 per box. So all of these items, oh, it's more of the, um, let me see if I can, these are more of the trunk or treat. Well, I put those away too soon. Okay. Yes, these are all of the trunk or treat. Good, I have, now I have a box for them. So none of them, um, these are just the same ones I had before. And I don't see any new, any new designs. Let's see, different ways you can use them. And there are how many in this, I don't think there's anything else in this box. Oh, no, I was, I'm so wrong. So I'm gonna pull that out, just a minute. So in this box, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine more of the trunk or treat or home decorating kits. I'm just going to put them right back and I'll show you them inside this box. So, and it's a good box because now I have a box to put all these in because I had a lot of them. So I have nine more of those. I'm going to move that aside. And at the bottom of that box, I have more of these, 99% Angel, 1% Witch, and they're all at $12.99, and they're all different sizes. This is another one, small. And I have three more, same design, and they're medium, extra large, and medium. Okay, these I would definitely keep until next year and sell them next year. Next box. I should never not have, I should, wait a minute, let me see if I can say, I sound like Pinocchio and Shrek. I should never not have a not, okay, I should never not have scissors. <laughs> because I just can't break these things open by myself. So, more Halloween stuff, I think, which is fine with me. Again, I just, either donate it or I put it away and I sell it next year. Oh, I still have four boxes to go after this, so I'm only halfway through. All right, now these are not specific to um, Halloween, but they are those little lights you would use inside those houses. Um, they're, like if you have ceramic Christmas houses, Halloween villages, these are the lights that would go inside. And these, I've got three packs. I Oh, $5.99 a pack, oops. As I throw them around, $5.99 a pack. And then we have more of these uh, lights that you put the little, what do you call them, replacement uh, 
I guess, ampule, a bulb. They're little replacement bulb sets for the Christmas trees that you can then turn into other holidays. There are five more in my hands here, and they were all $5.99 when they were new, you know, new up for sale. This is a landscape accent, and it would be just the ground, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, see, see there, when you have your traditional um, graveyard, you can't have that pretty grass. You have to have bleh. So this is it. It's just... Um, uh, a sheet of this to then put your village pieces on and it was $14.99 new then we have this craft box countdown tombstone kind of like an advent calendar <laughs> for Halloween and I believe you have to make it yes you have to make it yourself and that's $9.99 when it was new a uh, more of oops more of these bulb replacements if I were to sell those, I would probably do them in two packs um, next year for, you know, $9.99, $12.99 free shipping, something like that. Devil or devilish. Yes, yes, yes. Next we have, oh, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how this got in there. Okay, that <laughs> might have been a mistake. Oh, I see. Part of it is ripped. The little bulb in the back is ripped, but it's just a little... I'll use that maybe if I have Christmas this year with anybody. Um, <laughs> I'll use this because we do Christmas trivia and I can use this as my, um, you, yeah, you, you're next. I don't know, pointer or something. Now, how do you turn it off? In, or maybe you don't, maybe you don't turn it off. I don't, I, I mm, 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 mm. okay. These are bracelets, 99 cents, Createology. They're just little rubber band bracelets and they're the Halloween theme, cute. I have, oh, now we're getting into some different, oh, well, yeah, this is a ideology paper stash and it's paper that you would use to either decorate or do, I would assume, um, crafting books, uh, scrapbooks, things like that. It's really great. This is kind of creepy paper. And it would have been evidently free because I don't, 24 pieces of paper and I don't know how much it is. I'll try to look that up. I try to give an, um, oh, these are, these are amazing. These, these are we're asking $29.99 for. These are, there's 4.5 volt lighted accessory switching mode power adapters, which would be usable at Christmas, of course, right? Lights are kind of a big part of Christmas. Oh, oh, now it's broken. This is about broken and I'm not sorry. <laughs> Tiny treasures. It's broken and it's like a Skeletor angel. And I'm not sad that that's broken. I will not count this in the uh, end, but um, yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm not sorry. It's good. <laughs> oh, a face decal for $6.99. I guess you get uh, the the widow's peak and the eyebrows and the blood and all that comes out and it's you just paste it on your face and it's $6.99 here we have Halloween necklace evidently it's supposed to light up oh wait let's see let's see if it lights up oh I, you know I don't know because it still has the tab it has the tab in there so I can't I can't tell but it is spiders there's clear spiders and then there's black spiders that's, I like that. That's cute. That would have been new, six, no, $5.99. And then we have more of these, two more of these, and these are the craft kits. Countdown to Halloween, okay? These are things I might uh, save and donate to perhaps a teacher. Te I don't know, may maybe, I don't know. Oh, well, I'll use these. These are Celebrate Halloween Cutlery, $4.99. And the only thing that I guess makes them Halloween is they're black. Cloud, ooh, Cloud Slime from Createology for $2.99. And it is sealed. All right, and we have Cupcake Liners for $2.99. Those are cute. Hey, they kind of match that, <laughs> that bin I had, that metal bin. So those are cute. They would have been $2.99. And we're getting down there with another squishy one. Squishy Halloween guy. Oh, he makes a little noise. I don't know what his cost was. Oh, wait, I have another one, so I'll find out. These 
don't know how much they were because the tag is missing, but they're little, you stick them on your fingers and they're like, I don't know, vampire fingernails. <laughs> and we have as costumes, that's what we have left in here. So there are two Batgirl costumes. Now remember, I have Batgirl capes. I think they're Batgirl capes. So I'll put, I would put them together and sell them the cape and a skirt next next year. Just put them aside and sell them next year. These were free again. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, they don't have a price tag on them, so I'll try to look that up too. They're so cute though. Look at that. They're like tulle and sparkly, and then underneath is another layer, and then the back girl belt has sparkle. It's so cute. That's, I mean, if I had a dog big enough, I'd probably embarrass them by putting it on. <laughs> And the last two items, no, sorry, four items in this box are, I don't, it's a kid tutu for eleven ninety nine. I I don't, I don't know what character, if there is a character, just says kids tutu. So it's just a tutu. They're cute. They would have gone for eleven ninety nine new. I would say if you were going to um, dress up, oh God, what's that character's name? I'm terrible at it. I don't remember. Um. Oh, she's never mind. She's one of the Suicide Squad. Ah, how do I not remember that? Anyway, this is cute. These are cute. Harley Quinn. How could I forget that? You could be definitely be Harley Quinn as a child in these, although I don't know if you'd let your kid dress up as Harley Quinn. So we have four of those at $11.99. And I was wrong. There is one last thing in the box. And I might, I just might have to, I might have to keep them. This is about how I feel about all of life right now. It's like, why not? You know, why not? <laughs> so this would be, wait, this would be the I want a seizure mode. Okay. And then <laughs> what I like about these is uh, I probably, I will keep these, these light, but I'll put them on a pumpkin um, and put them outside next year is you can wear them and they're really good for, you know, being visible too. So that box is empty and now I'm gonna get another box. Next box, and I have one, two, th Oh, I have four more to go, I gotta speed this up. So I will try to speed this up. Next box, this looks like a quick one because it's only got a few things in it. I have some more of that landscape accent that would be for decorating, um, just the ground of say a graveyard or something like that, that you have as a display. Cute little basket, $24.99. That's really a universal one. It's kind of a fall, but you could definitely do a lot with that. If you wanted to, you could come in and paint red or gold on that. And you could definitely give, you know, put some, I don't know, zucchini bread or something in there and give use that as a gift box. All right, we have another item, big. It is an ant. Oh. It's an animated vulture. Right. So let me just tell you, I <laughs> he he moves when somebody goes by him. I'm not gonna open him. But I love him. He's $39.99. I will probably keep him and I'll tell you why. We have turkey vultures all the time around here. I'll be laying down on my laying down my grass in my front yard, just staring up. My dog's laying next to me, and there's always like a turkey vulture just looking at me like are you dead? Or are you alive? Can I try to, you know, <laughs> maybe I can scare them with that. That's cute. Okay. Next I have, whoops, cute. This is a little, uh, headwear it just says, but it's obviously for a little, oh, okay. I could use these with the, um, the little deer uh, outfits. So maybe I'll put them together, but that would have been $12.99. How cute. Look at that. I'll put it up really close. Look at the roses. <laughs> I love that. And then there's another one of these, but this one is in gold. It's the unicorn with the ears. That's another $12.99. And then we have the Dia de los Muertos headband for $9.99. That's pretty. Well, the skulls are, I wouldn't say pretty, but I, isn't that, I love that. That's very nice. All right, and I'm gonna put these aside over here. And in here, in the last of it, we have a bucket, another bucket, the, the basket is another 1995 item. And inside that basket are many, many things. 
and I'll show you really quickly. This was probably a cup that had a twisty top because I see that it should have had a top. I don't see it here, but that's cute, a little, little cup. I won't count it in the final um, tally though because it's not all together. Um, these are You've Been Booed cards, so $2.99. So if you put something in somebody's yard, you let them know who it is that did it. This is a plaster ornament for $1.99. It's a kitty. Now, it's $1.99 and it's a kitty and you have to paint it. Uh, that definitely could be a Christmas ornament. I'm gonna hold that steady because it was, wait a minute, kitty. Okay. And then we have multiple of these. Oh, wait a minute. I have another kitty. All right. And we have, oh, little shop. <laughs> We basically have the little shop of horrors, um, what do you call it, F Venus flytrap in the tiny treasures. Can you see that? <laughs> yeah, that's cute. And that would have been $4.99. So you could have your own little shop of horrors flower shop, right? And then the last things in here are all a 99 cent and they're coffin ooze. Okay, no, I... I I, I really did call it what it is. It's coffin ooze. <laughs> this one is open, so I won't count that. But the rest have, let me show you. They have little spiders in the coffins. And you open it and you play with the oozy spiders. And more. So of all of these, I have two, four, six, seven of those, and um, two of the cat ones, and then I have three more boxes to open. Three more boxes. So this is, we're getting there. I just love these. I could do this all day long. I could look at this stuff. I love opening these because I know it's all brand new. And it's fun, and even if it's out of season, a good re you know, a good reseller knows what to do, even with out of season items. Oh, this is easy because it's all pretty much baskets. Oh, I love this. It says "Give thanks," and it's just a framed piece. That is really pretty, and it's on like a parchment paper. Can you see that? And that is fifteen ninety nine. Carefully put that over here. I think there's more. Okay. Um, so I have another one of these baskets at $29.99. That's bigger than the earlier one I had. And I also have in this box another one of that size. All right. So two of those. Another one of the smaller ones. Remember, I got that whole, this whole box for $5.99. So if you wanted to, you could easily um, make some cupcakes. <laughs> Those cupcakes. And, and, and do gifts this way. Uh, but fun stuff. Okay, so what do I have? I have one, two, three, four of these. And they are framed. And they're a little bit mussed up. Well, not all of them. But no, just, just a couple of them. I wonder if they had glass, I don't think so. It says, pumpkins, leaves, fall, hayride, cider, harvest, blessings. And there's four of these, and they were $15.99. They are, um, well, two of them have absolutely nothing wrong with them, and two of them might be cleanable. So I, those are very nice. Those are just really nice. And the last thing in this box is, can, it looks like candy corn, goo cloud slime but it looks like candy corn at $2.99 so that's definitely I might have to keep that tactile so uh two more boxes second to last box so um this seems really light so I doubt it's gonna be full of little tiny heavy things <laughs> it's gonna be if they're little they're light looks like another box of costumes so stuff like that. So we'll see what we have. Okay. What do we have? We have, uh oh, we have little skirts again, little tutus. And these would be obviously for a child, eleven ninety nine, dollars ages three to eight, cute. And I have one, 
that's bigger. So obviously that is for adult. <laughs> so you could dress up with your kid. You have the mom or dad, <laughs> child tutu. So I have uh, one, let's see. These are the little kid ones. So, so far I have three little kids. In, oh, I'm wrong. I am very wrong. I guess I better slow down. Okay, slow down. I have so far one child, black and white, two adult, black and white. Then I have adult, this is a child, black and white, another child, black and white. These are all at $11.99. Another, looks like a child or a very tiny, teeny, tiny adult, black and white. <laughs> I'm sorry, black, black and white. And then I have a white one, child. I have um, another kid, two, two, um, red and black, child, obviously. And that's it for the, that's it for the two twos and they were all $11.99. So even if I were to save them, which I will, um, and sell them next year in lots of two, something, I don't know, and only make five, ten dollars on them, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, next we have ball toss game. So this would have been, you, you have to make it, I guess. You have to create it, but once you make it, then you can play yourself a little ball toss game for a Halloween party. And that's cute. $9.99 for that. I have another one of these um, Halloween countdown calendars where you create it yourself and it's $9.99 uh, for that. I have, this is gonna, this is gonna, this, I think my husband will insist probably on keeping this one because he's all into this kind of thing. <laughs> it's a pirate ship <laughs> at $29.99 and it's, you have to make it yourself and it has a, what appears to be a squid. It could be an octopus. Now that I don't, it looks like an octopus, but my husband is like this, one of the squid experts. He just did, a, a, they just found out, he did a show for um, uh, History Channel years ago where he ended up filming, uh, he put a camera on another squid, a littler squid, and he sent the camera down to the depth, I think it was 500 to 1,000 feet, and that camera filmed an actual giant squid for the first time ever, and it was just re-released this year uh the footage and they said the new way they can look at uh, the filming, you know, they can enhance so much better now that it was confirmed that my husband and his team were the first ever to film a live giant squid in situ. So meaning in its environment. So uh, that's pretty awesome. So <laughs> I'm bragging. And uh, if you're looking for it, it's uh, Monster Quest Predators of the Deep. And it shows him working 15 years ago to do this. And then him today where they finally say your team actually did it. You, you know, a lot of people since then have claimed to be the first to film it. They were not the first. Uh, Dale Pearson and Scott Cassell were the first to film it. And my husband is Scott Cassell. And he's going to want to keep this. So I love that. And again, it's on um, the History Channel and it's on, uh, for the first time it came around, it was called Giant Squid Found, and the re-release of it where they had everything verified today, today's technology is called Predators of the Deep. Uh, please check it out, it's really great. Okay, we have another one of the angel wing head pieces, and those are $12.99. Oh, I digressed, but I don't care. I If I can't digress and say uh, that people I know, including my husband, were the first in history to do something. I don't see what I can do. And remember, this is what I love about what they did. They were, fil these are divers, underwater cameramen, and explorers. They're not scientists at a university. They're not being funded by multi-million dollar endowments. They're not out there with humongous university ships, okay? They're out there as citizens. And what they were able to do was a was a first in history. So my theory is you do not have to be a scientist to make a scientific discovery or to actually uh, add to scientific knowledge in the world. And I think the universities, and I've met a lot of these professors at universities, they need to make room for that because 
you've got to encourage people to explore and you can't put them down if they weren't lucky enough um, to be able to get a go to school for half of their life to become a PhD. It's just because you have numbers, le numbers, letters after your name, all that stuff doesn't mean that you can, that you are the only ones capable of making scientific discoveries. So, thank you. I digress, but I don't care. Again, okay. So this is is oh, if the broom fits, fly it. Love. I have to. I'm gonna have to keep that one. Okay, that's an adult, and we have more. Um, these are Ashland figurines. So if you're gonna make your tiny mini Venice Beach uh, <laughs> uh, scene, then you have your Venice Beach Frankenstein lifting pumpkins, and here's another one. So we have two of those, and they're just. Oh, and then I. Oh, okay. This is what that cup that I got rid of before. Well, I didn't get rid of it. I'm not gonna count it in the sales. So this is what it should have looked like with a screw off top. It, this is a little monster. And then it has a little lid that looks like a purple brain. And then you would, you put a straw in it. These are four nine, no, four ninety nine dollars Canada. So that's probably two ninety nine dollars here. So that is it. And then last we have Lamaxed. Sticky Max accessory. Okay, these. this is the little wax you would use to stick those little uh, figurines in your scene so they wouldn't constantly be falling over. And they are at $3.99 a piece. One more box. <laughs> Last box, I promise. Eight boxes. I, next time I'll probably do it in two different videos. I don't know, maybe I'll cut this one up. I don't know. I got a lot. And I see more tutus, so we got a lot of the same. We've probably already seen a lot of this. Yes, we have. So, first things first, I'm going to show you I have these um, countdown calendars again. These were $9.99 a piece U.S., so I'm going to just count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five so far. Wait, five six, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten more of those. Countdown calendars. Cute. Okay. Then I have more of the Batgirl tutus. So cute. Okay. And I have another of the Black Wings. Oh. They're kind of angel wings, but they're black. And I was, these are the ones I thought would be great for Mothman. <laughs> he seems pretty scary. We have another set of two twos for children. So one, two, three, four, five. And you can imagine why these are five. So. These didn't maybe sell this year because pandemic, a lot of us are not, we didn't go, kids didn't go out and trick or treat. Um, I have a feeling, let's hope by next Halloween, that pandemic will be lifted. We will all be back to life again. There's one more thing in the box and it's the last thing and it's a pen and it's a dry erase pen because it has the eraser at the very back. So I can use this, I'll write on a mirror. I like to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will, of course, add what everything, add up everything that I have, and then I'll decide how I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do with, with these products. I paid $40, $43 and change, uh, maybe a few cents, and then um, I'm probably going to box up a lot of it, put it in my attic, pull it back down, uh, and sell it next year because, again, I think we'll have Halloween next year. I hope so. I hope so. Anyway, so um, thank you so much for watching. And if you don't already, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I don't post every week. I, what I do is I post when I have something to post. So if I like, I have a bulk box coming soon. And um, so I'll be doing that. I really post when I have something to unbox or I've gone garage sailing. But uh, I just have a lot of fun and I'm going to actually post a couple of tip videos on top five tips that I would have for beginning resellers, or uh, I want to debunk a few myths about reselling. So I'm going to do that too. So 
please subscribe and like and comment. Um, tell me what was your favorite thing in all of this down below and why, because we all have Halloween memories, right? And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next day, week, month, or year before I, you know, upload again. And until then, keep your eyes open for treasure. Bye.